What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I'm an independent marketing strategist based in Colorado, working primarily with service-based businesses to help them increase the amount of traffic they're getting to their website, generating more leads, and ultimately signing their ideal clients. On today's video, I wanted to give you a quick overview of how I am using Basecamp to manage both the web design and marketing projects that I am executing on behalf of my clients. Now, I have tried out a bunch of different project management tools in my time working in this industry. I've tried Trello, I've tried Asana, I've tried ClickUp, I've tried Teamwork. I've basically tried all of the major players in the space. And ultimately, I have come back to using Basecamp exclusively going forward because I find that it is the best tool for client collaboration. And when it comes to having a project management tool and working with your clients directly, I would say that the best project management tool is going to be the one that your clients actually use. Ultimately, the reason why I decided on Basecamp is that it is by far the simplest project management tool, and that's why a lot of my clients actually love using it. I'll be sharing my screen later on going over how I use Basecamp for both website and marketing projects. But before we do that, we got to take care of the housekeeping. So if you're interested in web design, branding, digital marketing, etc., then definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out one to two videos per week covering one of those topics. If you find this video helpful, definitely like it share it with your network and if you want to connect with me even further then definitely follow me on linkedin i'm putting out one video per day on linkedin pretty much so that is a great place to get to know me more as well all right with that taken care of now let me share my screen so you can see exactly how i'm using basecamp to manage client projects so now we are looking at my basecamp setup you can see we've got a ton of different projects here and I'm going to show you how I'm using this to manage both web design and marketing projects. So let's start with web design. And there's a bunch of clients I could choose from here, but let's just go with one of my more recent clients here. And as you can see here, once you click into a project, you're basically brought into a very easy to understand interface where we just have a couple different cards, which essentially act as doorways into various different functionalities that's offered within Basecamp. So let's just start from left and then go over to the right. So what I love about Basecamp is that it actually integrates directly with my client's email. So you can see here we have a message board where I'm able to just post whatever's going on. And the best thing about Basecamp is that the clients don't necessarily need to log in to use it, but rather they get an email copy of every single message I put in here and then they can just respond directly in their email and then it gets synced up right here in Basecamp. So I love that because my clients don't necessarily need to get on board with this other project management system. And this goes for comments as well that are left through tasks, which we'll be covering shortly too. But basically now I really love how it syncs up directly with their email. So this way the client doesn't need to log into Basecamp and keep checking everything. And they can essentially keep communicating the way they've primarily been communicating. This I find actually gets clients to use Basecamp and use the project management tool in the first place for communication because they don't necessarily need to switch over to an entirely different platform. Rather, they can just respond in their email inbox like they do for all other business communication. Now, going on over to the website tasks here, I basically break it down into different stages of the project. And then I also have some separate task lists for account management, for the client's tasks as well here. But then you can see in the task list here. So this is the design phase. You can see the UX wireframes need to be completed. And it's a very simple interface, just like you would expect how you can add a task like this. So the UX wireframes, you can assign it to someone, you can assign a due date. And then as comments go back and forth, you can then actually have a conversation just like here, as you can see. Now, what I love about this is that all the tasks listed here are also what's listed on the proposal. And then once a client signs that proposal, I then open up a new Basecamp project and copy those deliverables into these tasks as well. And this gives the client just complete transparency into everything that I am doing, everything that I am responsible for, and ultimately they can follow along with my progress as things get checked off here. Also, what I really like here is that in the main project homepage, there is a dashboard for the latest things that have been going on as so you can see so the client is basically able to log in here scroll down and they can see a timeline of the latest things that have been happening in the project it's pretty simple overall i do wish that they had the ability to have subtasks because just in my mind it makes things a lot more easy to stay organized but they just don't which is fine anyway what i usually do is i set up a separate task for marketing tasks the way i use it to manage marketing clients is that generally most marketing retainers i have they will have a 
recurring monthly deliverable component. So here you can see we're optimizing blogs, optimizing service pages, but then there's also various different things that we have going on based on different channels. So you can see here, this is all the video and YouTube content. You can see here, you know, I put in notes, I can assign this to the client, etc. And we have email marketing tasks as well. We have social media tasks, and then we just have some general catch all tasks. And then what I also do is I generally have a task list for clients as well. So this way they can log in. It's right at the top there and they can see exactly what they're responsible for. So we love that as well. Lastly, one of my favorite features on Basecamp is this docs and files section. And what's really great is that if I wanted to add a new one, it's basically like a built in Google Drive right here, but you can see here it integrates with a bunch of different tools, Notion, Figma, Dropbox, etc. So it really just makes things very organized. Whereas compare this with how a lot of other people will communicate for these business type projects, which would be back and forth via email. And it's so easy for files and attachments to get lost in long email chains. But this way, whatever files I'm referencing when talking to a client, they know it's going to be in the stocks and files section and they can basically easily access everything they need here as well. And if they already have, for example, photos that we're going to need for the website on Google Drive or Dropbox, they can just drop in the link here. So they don't really need to do a whole lot of manual work re-uploading everything just to have it in Basecamp. So I love the docs and files section. It's one of the main reasons why I switched over to using Basecamp. Another thing I like about Basecamp is that it'll build out a schedule as you assign due dates to tasks. So this way, whether it's you or even other collaborators, which I sometimes use for Basecamp as well, basically it'll just build out a schedule. So if anyone wants to know what are the most pressing things coming up, they can just log on to this schedule item right here. Another thing that I really like as well is that for the times where you do get direct emails from your clients or maybe outside vendors, partners, etc., you do have the option as well to forward emails into Basecamp and then you can reference in here. So I like to do that because I don't like to have things just like clogging on my email inbox. So this way, if I'm working, I don't need to log into my email and then see a bunch of other messages. Rather, I have these all kind of saved here, which is very helpful as well. Another thing I really like about Basecamp is that it has this ping section and I don't want to open it because then you would see my clients' names and like probably perhaps our communication as well but basically it has a direct built-in instant messaging feature. It's like having a direct Slack channel to your client. And I really like this because it's just very easy for direct quick communication. It's very searchable as well in Basecamp. That's another reason why I highly recommend you use a tool like Basecamp because ultimately this way all the communication gets synced up and there's always going to be a trail of what's been said and what decisions were made. All right, guys, so that is a video going over Basecamp and how I am using it for client projects. If you have any questions or comments, then obviously feel free to drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But whether you're an agency owner or a freelancer or in-house marketer, I hope you got some value out of this because maybe this way you can see how I'm using it and then you can adjust your process based on some of the insights that I went over in this video. And now if you are someone in the market to hire a marketing consultant like myself to either build a new website or marketing strategy from the ground up, I hope you can see the value in having a centralized project portal like Basecamp to stay organized and stay tracked and basically have full transparency in the process so that whoever you're hiring, what they're going to be responsible for and what the progress is on those items as they begin working for you. If you like this video, I'm also going to recommend you check out the video I'm going to link up here, basically going over the entire checklist that I have in Basecamp for a website project. And I think you'll get a lot of value out of that as well if you're interested in the project management components of a web design project. So link up here, also in the description as well to check out how I'm using Basecamp as a web flow development checklist as I do every project. Again, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. Bye.